Seventh grade math, lesson 1.1b, adding integers with the same sign on a number line. On a number line, the numbers on the left of zero are negative. The numbers on the right of zero are positive. Zero is not positive or negative. Positive and negative numbers can be represented by arrows on a number line. The arrow above the number line shows positive 5. The arrow is 5 units long and is pointing in a positive direction. The temperature is negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature drops by 2 degrees Fahrenheit, it will be negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Negative 10 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 12. On a number line, we can use a vertical number line. And remember, on a vertical number line, we number it on the left side. We draw an arrow from 0 to negative 10. And because we're adding our negative 2, our arrow will continue in the same direction as the arrow for negative 10. So it's going to continue down 2 units and you can see that it's skipping by twos, isn't it? So we're going to go down one increment. The temperature written as an integer is negative 12 degrees. The temperature is 12 degrees below zero. It's 12 degrees below zero. This number line is showing negative three plus negative 2 is equal to negative 5. This one long arrow is the sum of these add-ins. The length of the arrow is the sum of the absolute values of the add-ins. The arrow is 5 units long because 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Both add-ins are negative, so the sum is negative. Remember, the absolute value of a number is its distance from zero. So the absolute value of negative three is three. It's one, two, three units from zero. If the temperature is one degree Fahrenheit and it rises by four degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature will be five degrees Fahrenheit. It will be 5 degrees above 0. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Both add-ins are positive, so the sum is positive. When the add-ins share a common sign, the sum will share that sign. So when the add-ins have like signs, they're alike, the sum will be like the add-ins. We have a positive 4 and a positive 3. Our sum is going to be a positive 7. If we have a negative 4 and a negative 3, adding them together, the sum will be a negative 7. A number line is useful for modeling the addition of greater numbers because we can label the number line with larger increments. We have a negative 5 plus a negative 15. It's equal to negative 20. But if we use counters, we won't worry about the direction needed for our arrows. But we may use a lot of counters. So here we have an addition equation. We have negative 1 plus negative 3. And it's equal to negative 4. We're using a vertical number line. So this fish is at negative 1 for depth. It's negative 1 below the water. It's negative 1 below 0. See that? If this was feet, we could say it's 1 foot below the water. If it swims 3 feet deeper, it will be 4 feet below the surface. It will be at negative 4 feet. We finished 1.1b. We're going to move on to 1.1c, adding integers with a common sign. So remember, when we're adding integers that have the same sign, the sum will also share that sign. Have a great day, and I hope you'll join me for the next lesson.
Bye.